Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now for today, I'm putting out an updated video guide for getting your Discord dumb item dropping bot up for Animal Crossing New Horizon. Now you will need a hacked switch with CFW installed in order to do this, so please do not attempt to do this guide without having done that first. Now first thing you need to do is download the latest 1.6 release of SysBot Base. Now this will be linked in the description. You want to download the zip file and then copy it into the root of your SD card. So you'll see that the um, zip file is the second option right here. You can go ahead and click on it. I'm going to get it downloaded. All of my downloads go to my desktop. It makes my life easier. You want to make sure that you're able to um, extract it into your, into your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and extract it. Once that's all done, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you copy it into the root of your SD card. Now I am currently using FTP, uh, FTPD, but you can do this with FileZilla or with your SD card inserted into your PC. Basically when you open this folder up, you're going to see that there's an atmosphere folder. All you want to do is you want to drag and drop that into your uh, into the root of your SD card and it's just going to merge and create the uh, create the folders necessary. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed on my switch. So that is definitely the first step that you want to get set up on your on your switch before going ahead with this guide. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to head over to the Discord developer portal uh, to create your bot. Now make sure to link this in the description of this guide as well. Basically once you log in you're going to see a screen like this. Now I do have a couple of bots already set up. Now what you want to do when, when you're on this screen is you want to go ahead and click on create a new application and you just want to click on, uh, you just want to type in a name. So let's just say um, Discord, uh, let's just call it continue storage. Let's go ahead and create it. There we go. Now you can upload a picture if you'd like. Um, that's totally up to you. Um, you don't have, if, if you do want to change the name, you could also change the name here. There's a bunch of info here, but you don't really have to worry about any of this right now. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the left side where it says bot. Go ahead and click on that. When you are here, you're going to see something called build a bot. Now go ahead and click on add bot. Add a bot to this app. Click on yes, let's do it. When you do it, it's automatically going to give you the name. If you already made a picture, it's going to pull that same picture here. Um, so I'm just going to call it TV storage, make it look a little neater. Now, as you scroll down, you're going to see a couple of options. Now it's going to say public bot. Um, you could tick this off because if it's ticked on, then anyone um, can invite your bot into their server and use it. You definitely don't want that happening with your bot. So you can go ahead and tick it off. Now another thing that you want to make sure that you do, under privileged gateway intents, you want to make sure that you t click on presence intent and server members intent. When you're done with all of that, you want to make sure that you click on save changes. The next step you want to do is download ACNH SysBot for your PC. Now I'll make sure to put this in the description as well. So let's go ahead and download it. Now you're going to see it on my desktop. I am just going to extract it to my desktop right now. Now, once you download it, make sure you extract it fully like how I just did. Now you wanna go ahead and run the EXE once. Now, it is gonna be the very first one if you downloaded the latest release. Now, things can change in, uh, in the future. This is how it currently looks for the current update as of January 16th. So don't follow this video guide directly if there is a new update things have changed you always want to make sure you check the wiki 
for any updates. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure you click on the very first EXE and execute it. You're going to get a little box like this. I just click on run anyway. Now, it's going to say created blank config files. Please configure them and then restart the program. Press any key to exit. Now, you will see that there are two config files. There's the config.json and the discord.json file. Now you want to make sure that you put all the appropriate information in both of them. Now let's open up the config.json first. Now the very first thing we should change is most likely the offset um, because this will not work for most people. Now if you only have one user player on your island then use the following offset. I'm going to type it in right now. It's going to be 2906425 two five six now if you have more than one user account on your island the wiki has a formula that you have to follow in order to figure out which one is your right inventory inventory offset so make sure you guys are reading the wiki for that information now you can keep most of these settings as it is however let's go over some that you may be interested in changing now previously the max drop count was hard coded to seven, but now you can input up to nine commands for drops in a single line of text. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it. You don't have to change it if you um, don't feel like it. I stick with nine since that's the max amount of spaces around your character that they can drop without getting stuck in a uh, thinking animation. Now, if your character does get stuck, then you can always run a clean command. Now, to make sure the clean command works, you should change um, the setting right here where it says allow clean and change this to true. Now, another mistake that some people do is changing the wrap all function, um, wrap all items function to false. Now, where is that? That is right here. Wrap all items is currently set to true by default. I highly recommend not changing this. Um, basically, if you um, the bot can drop all the items if you take wrapping off, since with wrapping turned on, the amount of button presses to go to the drop command is predictable. Now, last but not least, always make sure you change um, the IP to match your switch IP address. You can find this in, in your uh, network settings. Do not put the IP of your computer here. I've seen a bunch of people do it that's that's not the right IP all right so at the time of making this video Kirk did push out a new release and basically what he added was this line right here in the config.json file and basically this is a protocol which determines um, uh, basically it determines which protocol the bot will use to connect to your switch so if you keep it at zero um, this keeps it at wireless through sysbot base using the IP you provide right here But if you change this number to one it now gives you the functionality of you using a USB bot base So that's the only other change that has happened in this latest commit So I, I figured I would just put that in there if you guys see this protocol line in the text All right now let's go ahead and open up the discord.json file now let's go over a few things. The first thing you see is name. Right here, right now it says crossbot. Um, you don't have to name this to whatever your bot is, um, You could, but whatever you do put in this section will be what the bot shows as its status on Discord. So if you want to put something like checking the stock market, you can and that's what it's going to show underneath the bot in your server. Now your prefix is defaulted um, to um, the dollar sign. You can change this as you please, but just make it something simple for your member's sake. Now your Discord token, this is important. This is basic. You're basically gonna find this in your uh, Discord uh, developer portal. If you go over here, you're gonna see where it says token. Uh, click to reveal token, or you can just copy it. Once you click copy, you want to make sure that you paste it in here and that will be your token for your bot. Make sure no one has your token. It's very important. If you're trying to get help on a server and you try and screenshot this, make sure you always blank your token out. 
Now the next setting that I want to talk about is roll you spot. Now it is set to at everyone. Now I advise everyone to keep this as it is. Honestly, you have a lot more flexibility on Discord with making your channels roll locked from preventing users you don't want in there from using your bot. So just keep it at everyone by default. Of course, you don't have to take my recommendation, but that's like kind of like on you to figure out how to work properly if you do try to change it. Now, this field doesn't take role ID, so don't put numbers in here. It only takes the role names. Now, for users and sudo, you really don't have to mess with this at all, but if you want to know more about it, then feel free to look at what they do in the uh, in the Syspot AC wiki as it's detailed out. Um, and the channels, you just want to put the channel ID in here where you want the bot to actually run the commands. So if someone uh, does a command in another channel, it's just going to tell them that um, it's not possible. So that's what the channel ID is for. Now, when you're all done setting up the config files for your bot, the next step you want to do is invite the bot into your server. Um, so let's head back to the portal and click on OAuth2. Now you're going to be on OAuth2 and you want to go down and you want to click on bot. When you click on bot, you're going to see this little um, link pop up. Now this is going to change based on what permissions you give your bot. Now some of the ones that I go ahead and just tick off for my bot is send messages, manage message, embed, attach files, and read message history. And then what you can do after that is you want to go ahead and click on copy, um, open up a new tab, and go ahead and invite the bot into your server, whatever it may be. Now, I'm not going to invite it because I already have an AC bot in my server. But that's pretty much it when you're done. Um, now, I'll go ahead and show you how it's supposed to function when you have it all set up properly. Um, I'll show you how it is on my server. All right, once you're all done setting it up, the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you relaunch the EXE. So go ahead and double click on that. And if you did everything correctly, you're not going to get any errors. And um, if your inventory offset was wrong, it's going to say something here. But obviously, it just says successfully connect to the, connected to the bot. And then it says gateway is connected, uh, connecting, connected, and that it's ready. That means the bot is ready to go on your server. Now, if I go ahead and go onto my server, I do have um, dedicated bot channels. Um, basically, if I click on edit channel, you can see the permissions that I gave for it. Now, I have an Animal Crossing Trader role um, and a Nook Shop resident role. Basically, I have a queue system where once they enter the queue, the bot assigns them this role and then that's the only way that they see this channel. Um, and then you can go ahead and do your commands, whatever it may be. It's going to execute it. And then you can also clean it if you want the bot to pick up the items. So that's how you do, um, that's how you use the bot on your server. Now you can see a full list of commands on in the wiki, so I, may, uh, I highly suggest you guys go ahead and take a look there. Alright guys, now that does conclude my video guide. Now if you have any other questions, feel free to join my Discord server. I do have a dedicated support center and FAQ section on the left. If you scroll all the way down, you'll find it. Um, there is a homebrew section and a NHSE poker um, a mobile spawner help section. So feel free to come here, ask your questions. It is uh, pretty active here. So if you guys need any help, make sure to join. I'm going to put the description. Um, I'm actually going to put a link in the description of this video. Um, I hope to see you guys there. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.